Hello everybody, it is Mother and Sunday Challenge yet again. I'm Mother, this is Son, and his name is... What a name, Zaire. Zaire, yay! So yay. look, I know it's been a while, so please forgive us. We have uh, one of our biggest fans who kind of enjoy our videos, and we actually miss them too, is a nephew of mine. So Zaire wants to shout out one of his cousins. So what you gonna say to him? Hey, Mario. Mario! <laughs> we have to say hello to you, Mario, because you kind of motivated us to get us started on this Mother Sunday, mukbang, whatever kind of challenge you want to call it. We said about, I think it's been about four or five months ago that we were going to do these every Sunday, didn't we? Yep. So what, what happened was, it was my she fault. She had her things. I got. I had my things. Yeah, we just had Yaya things going had on. Her things. So I will keep you guys um, updated on. Don't tell anybody that. I, let me tell. You, okay, on what's been going on with me in particular. I made a huge transition in life. Yay! I'm so excited. I have another <laughs> YouTube channel that I'm starting. I'm going to start posting on next week, so you can see what I've been working on. I've uh, started a business and I'm slowly making that transition. So I retired from one business and on my way to start another. So I'm just branching and getting everything going th with that. So again, I'm going to be starting another YouTube video. I'm not even going to promise y'all how many videos I'm going to try to knock out a week because it always falls short for some reason. Life just happens. But at any rate, we're back. We're going to try to keep this consistent, right? Every Sunday. He's been reminding me, and I and, and our my so nephew, is Mario and Mario our, our is really big. Fan. Yeah, so Mario, Sorry this about is this Mario. This is for you, Mario. Okay, so what we have here, we said on the last video, the next time we we're gonna do a challenge, it was gonna be Asian stuff. I didn't get as much Asian things that I wanted to because we were kind of in a rush today to get this thing going, but we decided we wanted to do a challenge on. Oh. Yeah, bring that down. I forgot one Asian thing. And another Valerie. thing, <laughs> those dumplings are bigger than I thought they were. Um, we forgot one of our ingredients, one of our uh, foods here we're going to taste. So what we have on our smorgasbord of Asian cuisine here is something I've never tried before. I like sushi. I'm not particularly um, a big fan of sashimi. I guess that's the raw fish. So we have the traditional sushi rolls here. I don't think I really need to hold it up to the camera because I'm going to put a picture there. And which is a California roll. And basically, you guys know if you've ever had it before, it's got the uh, cucumbers, uh, avocado, which is one of his favorites, and shrimp with the uh, seaweed and rice. So that should be okay. We have a bowl of rice noodles here that Zaire's never tried, kind of like oodles and noodles. We also have some sauteed squid. Now, we love our calamari. We get squid, like, everywhere we go. And but just... this is my first time ever eating squid that is not calamari. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what is this? Squid. Squid. Zaire loves squid. Every time we go to a restaurant, one of our favorite appetizers is the what? Calamari. Calamari. And I'm then I... That. Then I took another one of my favorite appetizers and turned it into my lunch. And Everything I like and I consider it my favorite. Somebody steals the show. My Our lighting is fading in and out, so I don't know like what kind of hue we got going on in this room. But hopefully you guys can see us. I'm dark anyway. So if I fade to black, oh my you'll, goodness. you'll still hear me. Okay, so what we have here is the sashimi. Some pieces have the traditional shrimp over it, but then we have salmon, oh, Sa salmon. salmon, and another kind of fish. I don't Ooh, even avocado. know what it is, but it's raw, so that's going to be a little challenging. I think I'll take on the shrimp and the piece of salmon. We said what we're going to do is chew it at least five times before we spit it out, and we're going to see who holds up the longest. We also have kimchi. I used to love kimchi. My mother used to work at a an Asian store when we were growing up. So she used to bring home different things for us to try. And I remember we, we really liked kimchi. She used to bring that home a lot. So I thought I'd give that a shot too. And we also have some snacks. Um, I chose a, a sweet and salty snack from the Asian store we went to today. And so did Zaire. So we'll let you guys see the snacks we have. This is some 
Asian snack. It's a sweet roll. It's called mochi. Mochi. From my friend Sanaya from school. So Sanaya, if you ever just kind of like see this and see this video, that's a shout out to you. What's her name? Sanaya. Shout out Sanaya for introducing us to the mochi. Mochi roll. Asian cookie. Gonna get your Although mochi roll. Like roll. Your, your mochi roll. Gonna get your mochi roll. Get and if you're right about this being really delicious, I'm gonna have to find you. Okay, and then we have some cookies. I don't know, it's called Mawa cookies. Mahua. Mahua cookies. Okay. And then we have what do we have there, Zaya? Crab chips. Crab. Choice of Turn it around to the camera so they can see the front. Crab, Crab chips. chips. Picked by your one and only darling girl. Okay, and then my toy, my other choice was Lucky Stars. Okay. It's like a cheese chip. Okay. Although it's not Cheetos. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to get started on is the rice noodles. Okay. Zaya's just learning how to use chopsticks. I've used them before when I was stationed in Japan, and I was there for four years, and this is my same set from Japan, and that was probably about 10 years ago that I was there, and I can't believe I still have these things. But these are my favorite chopsticks. I don't remember how to use them, though. So I'm just going to try to figure it out all over again. They got a little cool. They got a little cool side here. So can you get it? We, we got a fork just in case. Plan B all the time. Let's see. These Plan are rice noodles. Mm. Well. Let me um, loosen it out for you. There you go. They taste just like oodles and noodles. They're just a little chewier. I season them with um, some Asian seasoning. And it is delicious. I'm hungry, so these are really good. Huh? <laughs> I'm always hungry. <laughs> so are, are you a psychic? Because that's exactly what I was about to say. Always. This Miss... Lady D mm. of Houston is always a big foodie. Yes, ma'am. I mean, sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Try some ones out here. Mm. Mm. That's a lot. Mm. 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 I'm getting better mm -hmm. with these every time I use them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. She does this all the time. Good so. for the soul. Mm. I'm good. Well, if you don't mind, I forgot to get our drinks. What do you need? The Coke Zero and the Gatorade for Zaire. Please, okay. thank you. Okay, one more bite of this because it's so good. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Did you get me one of the bigger Gatorades? Mm. Not the small ones? Mario, I wish you were here. You would love your noodles. Okay. I'm going to sit the noodles and try it. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, you don't so you're, how are you with the noodles? So that was a, a thumbs up? Can I have one more bite? Mm -hmm. We're waiting for our beverage. Okay, next, we're going to try something that is not too bad, but um, it's the California roll. So you ready to try the California roll? It looks roll? the best out of all of the rest of the sushi, so um, no Thank offense, you. Asian you people. But get a small one. No, I, can I get Okay, yeah, open it. Thank you. Yaya's helping us out in the background. Okay, yeah, so shout out to Yaya, my godmother. We're going to. I'll wait for you to take your next bite. You want to no, take no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. All right. So the next we're going to try is a roll. These are a little sticky, so it may be a little hard for you to get with your chopsticks. But this is a California roll. I know what it tastes like. You can dip it in some sauce, Sire, if you want to. You want to dip it a little bit in some sauce? You want to try it first without the sauce? You're gonna really love it with the sauce. Pretty good. Mm. I haven't really tasted cucumbers on This sauce I made, I make my own version of teriyaki sauce. I mix about five different sauces and some seasonings together. Sorry, y'all. What kind of fish is this? Isn't it? That's um imitation crab meat. And it's so good. Val loves it. We put this sauce on everything. It's darlings. Sweet teriyaki sauce. Mm-hmm. Now get dipping in some sauce right there. Mmm. Eat the rice. Take this whole thing. See if you can the whole 
You might have to use your fork or your fingers. You can grab it with your fingers. There you go. Dip it. Okay, now take the whole thing in your mouth. Oh, my God. Oh, I need another one of these. Oh, I'm hearing mm. Nothing mm. can be this delicious. This is so, so, so good. Ah, okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 If she starts dancing mm-hmm. on the scene, that just mm-hmm. means the food is really good. Hey, Mario, mm-hmm. 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 This is so good. I love sushi. Okay. This is the safe sushi because everything is cooked in there. Well, All right. The That's the imitation crab meat. It's cooked. Mm-hmm. All right. So now the adventure begins. The squid. This is a sauteed squid. We love squid. We've never tried it this way before. It's got some Asian seasoning on it. I'm going to taste one without the teriyaki sauce. Not bad. It's really? Cool. It's not bad? You tasted that before I did? Wow, you're bold. It got a little bone. Some, wow. Well, not bone, but something I can't chew. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a tentacle, I think. Oh. Mm-hmm. A tentacle. Yeah, it does have... It's not bad. <laughs> Why are you running? This is bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. You won up on me, man. This is like the first time. In he is won up forever. on me. I cannot believe I spent it. Real. <sighs> what just happened? <laughs> it's so fishy. Did, did we just change body or something? No, you like that. Go ahead, dude. Now try it with the sauce. The sauce. No ketchup. Yeah, that's in the background. She wants me to try it with the sauce. Oh, it's not hot. I don't know why I'm like, my nose is running. I think I was just, that's really fishy. Valerie would not like this because she doesn't like anything fishy tasting. I'll try with a little Except bit of sauce. For fish. Because she's told me to try sure. with some sauce. Zaire, you high five me on that one, man, because you, golly, I can't believe you. Like, I go. gotta reset this up in my fingers. Oh no! Oh me. <laughs> okay, so that's actually the first thing, like in. Wow, I'm so proud of you. I'm impressed, actually, man. Golly, okay. Zyra's got one up on me so far. This is a Monday, a Mother Sunday challenge, and he's winning the challenge already so far. We, he's uh, like two things, three things to my two. We tried the noodles and then the sushi. And then the saute. If only you could try a saute small dumpling. Those, that stuff. Okay, here we go. Woo! Okay, here we go. The raw oh stuff. Oh my Wait, god! Yeah, I'm gonna put one on your plate, out here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to use my fingers with this one. Because... Okay, we each get a shrimp one, just in case we After are this not. Oh, I'm sorry. This one has. So you guys, this one has. This is salmon. I know the orange one. I don't know what this red. Is this snapper? It may be tuna. Is it a red snapper? It may be tuna. I have to see. Wait, isn't tuna usually gray? I have to see what's in there. I think the red one is red snapper. No, it's salmon, shrimp, avocado, (laughs) fish. It doesn't say what the other kind of fish is. Oh, tuna. I was right. It's tuna. It's tuna. tuna. I'm going to try it with, I've never in my life tried a raw piece of fish, ever, 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 ever. So I'm just going to take a piece of the salmon and try it just like this and see what it tastes like. It's you good. ate it? Is it raw salmon? Did you just raw eat it? Mom, chew it five times and spit it out in your napkin. Be brave, just like no, your child. I ah! 
I swallowed it, but I, I couldn't finish chewing it, so it just it just slid on down my throat. It's still alive. I have some sauce on it. It doesn't really taste like anything, huh? It just tastes like a piece of cold, mushy, piece of cold, mushy thing. It kind of tastes like pork. Like a cold, mushy gummy bear, I guess. It kind of tastes like tasteless oatmeal, but mushier and cold. I can't just have thought of eating a piece of raw fish. How's this? How was it? You ate the salmon, and this is the tuna. Try the tuna. Have you tried the tuna? I already tried the tuna. This is tuna. The you said the red was tuna. Uh huh. So you don't like the red either. I need to taste the orange. Drink some coke. Her heaven in a bottle and. Ah! Ah! It's an aftertaste. Mm! He just ate it. Look. Look at your sign. Doesn't really have a taste to it. <laughs> Zaire. Zaire for real. That's the man. You're gonna have to drink some beverage after that. Dang, Zaire. Oh. <laughs> it tastes so I good. I guess when we go to China next year, you're gonna have a ball. Because I'm going to be lost. This is crazy to me that he's throwing down and here I am suffering. I thought my palate was way more advanced than yours. He's bolder than I thought. I like, he doesn't mind like trying new things. things. And I love, love, love that about this kid. Um, so, like I said before, wherever we go, at least he'll try it and decide if he likes it or not. As opposed to looking at it and doing one of my numbers, barely wanting to put it in your mouth. He just goes for the gusto. Good job, Zaire. Wait, okay, that so we, we, oh, he's beating me already. Okay, so this is it, Zaire. Next Beam is the one kimchi. Yeah. Now, this one, you might be one up on me. <laughs> we might, you might be just being losing by one. You're okay. losing by two right now, but. Okay, let's why try do the I kimchi. Sound like I'm and it says now. sweet kimchi. So we got this sweet, sweet one. Kimchi. And like it says, Zaire, all it is is like a fermented cabbage. They um, soak it in like Fer vinegar mint. and oils and seasonings. And uh, I think oils. And they just kind of let it soak. Word kinda of the day. Fermented. Kinda Research cooks, squad. Cooks what is that? Thing. Okay, you ready to taste it? Hold up. Okay, now I'm ready. Taste that, Zaire. Okay, on the count of three. We're going to do this together because he is not beating me to the punch. Again, I'm the mother. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. If she looking at you, I'll see. I'll come her eyes and see what you're going to do. <laughs> I don't really like it. I know you would like it. I like it. The reason why I'm making this face is because it's really vinegary. And I prefer heated, warm. It's straight out the refrigerator, so it's cold. I would nook this because I love, love, love cabbage. I this one is beating me off, so now he doesn't like. One. He doesn't like pickles. He doesn't like um, um, relish. He doesn't like mustard, any pickly stuff. He doesn't like. So I know he probably wouldn't like this. Although it says sweet, that's why I got it. Um, kimchi. Yeah, it's spicy and sweet and tastes spicy. like. Mm. It's really good. I just prefer, prefer it heated up. Okay, so now we try rice noodles. Now it's time for dessert. One and one. He won. I mean, we were tied on that. The sushi. One and two. Two and two. two. And two. The saute squid. Three. The salmon. Four. <laughs> and the kimchi. Three. Is that it so far? So far, he's four and three. Okay, so now we're ready for our snacks. And you want to go ahead and open this one? Mm, we got itchy. two sweet snacks and two savory salty snacks. Um, and we'll try that one first since he, one of his friends mentioned it to him. Is your friend, what's her name again? Sanaya. Sanaya? Sanaya Smith. Oh, okay. She's the brother of my other friend, um, Cedric Smith. Wow, Zaire is... He's the bomb man. He's golly. He's really shocked me in that he enjoys this way more than I thought he would. Ooh. Ooh not so bad. in there. So this is the There's homemade mochi. Five. Looks like a it says a um <laughs> I don't even know why I thought I could read this. Everything is in Asian. I don't know if it's Japanese, Chinese. 
But we can't jump to Vietnamese, the Vietnamese, Filipino, I don't know, but it's Asian. Anything Asian, I love, and I will try it. Ooh, okay, let's see. Let me, let me do it this way. Except for this. No, I tried it, though. I may not love it. I, I'll, I'll try it. So we're, we're, we'll try it. We may not like it too much. but Yeah, that cabbage is off my list. Open this sweet one while I'm going to get some scissors right quick, because that's, that's hard to open. Taiwan dessert. Okay, yep. here we go. Okay. Ready? Yeah, open it with the scissors. Okay, let's try the mochi. That looks delish. Yeah, it does. I'll take, one. I'll take a small bite of this one. What's on the inside? Oh, it feels oh it feels really spongy, doesn't it? Okay, so it looks like a little chocolate roll with some cream in it and a doughy, like a flour doughy outside. Not bad. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Mm-mm. Not my kind of. Well, spend so, two up again. So you got five to my what, three? Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. So, is there one on that one again? Because he could tolerate it and I, I don't think I can. Okay, let's try that one. I love this. He liked the noodles. Okay. Here's the other sweet snack. When Zaire chews his noodles. All right, so we have, this is called... Mawa cookies. It's like a croquette. This looks like a little swirly cinnamon donut, but it's hard. really it's hard and crunchy. You ready? Careful. Ah, I know, right? Ow. Careful. Mmm. It's a hard. It's a hard cinnamon -y. Cinnamon, the mini me <laughs> cookie mm -hmm. twist, like a fried miniature twist donut that me and one of my best friends, childhood best friends, Dolores, we used to love to stop at the store going to school and get a cinnamon twist. It was like, it was just a routine. It was a tradition. And um, every time I eat to this day a cinnamon twist donut, I think about my, my childhood best friend, Dolores. Okay. Don't break those little teeth, man. Ready for the next one? Let me uh, get something to drink. You haven't drank that one, did you? Oh. Ah. Wow, this this has been pretty cool so far. Zaire, I cannot believe he beat me. I was not expecting him to like most of this stuff. I mean, shit. I was before. expecting me to just chop it on down. He but, takes up his yard yard. Okay, so... He likes crabs like I do. He doesn't eat the Maryland blue crabs because they're so hard to get into. And I refuse but you didn't let me taste to it. pick it for him. Yeah, you, you taste, taste it. You before. You like them? I love them. This video is on 24 minutes now, so I know I'm going to have to edit it and cut it down because people always say my videos are too long. But that's okay because I like y'all. I love him. And we just have fun together. Okay, so. And you want to make Mario happy. Okay, so these are crab chips. These are the crab chips. I've tasted shrimp chips before. I should make a tick. They don't really have a, a crab flavor, do they? Mm -hmm. No, it's more like... It's like a potato chip. The aftertaste mm -hmm. is like mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. hint of crab. That's it, man. It's the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste mm -hmm. is a hint of crab. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, we get it, Mom. Mm-hmm. Aftertaste. Mm. Go with it. Yeah, Go it kind of dissolves, like, after the third mm. chew. Okay. Last thing we have is what Zaya picked out. Mm-hmm. I'll open it. We don't know what these are. It just says Lucky Stars. Probably something crunchy and cheesy, shaped like a star. Everything's written in Asian. I don't know. 
Hong, which Asian culture, Chinese, Japanese, but it's Asian, and we're gonna give it a shot. So they're, they're little star-shaped, little crunchy, crunchy things. Hmm. They're good. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of taste like barbecue chips. Mm-hmm. So, that concludes our Asian Mother Sunday Challenge. But Six must to eight, I win. The next challenge we're going to do is, we don't know. You have any ideas what culture food you want to try? We uh, did Indian before. Um, we can do Chinese next, or we can do... Um, Mediterranean. He's come to like Mediterranean. We have a really good Mediterranean restaurant around the corner from us. And the food is so, so, so good. So maybe we'll try that. We don't know. But again, just a reminder, starting next week, I've already started full time on my business and I'm going to start a, a different YouTube channel so you guys can see what I've been working on and what career. Well, you're not, I, I transitioned and retired from nursing when I've started another full time career to start my own business and um i want you to follow me on that i'm for the first 30 days starting next week either tuesday or wednesday for the first maybe 30 to 60 days depending on how i'm coming along i want to do a quick little video clip on what i'm doing and how i'm coming along as a new uh business owner entrepreneur in this new business endeavor that i'm doing i'm so excited about it it's a, it's a huge learning curve for me. It's a completely different environment. I've never done it before, but it's not foreign. Valerie has a lot of people in her family who does this, so I'm just, I'm kind of like the late will actually, but it's new for me and I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I want you to watch me transition from one career to the next as a 53 year old, almost 53 years old, who says it's too late to ever get started on something new. If you've Pretty much or kind of outgrew what you were doing before it's never ever too late life goes on the years are going to come what makes a difference is what you do in those years to your come. attitude so and your attitude exactly keep keep yourself motivated and if you say you want to do something and transition just do it it's never too late of course you can always go back to what you were doing before but if you never give yourself a chance to try you'll never know if you could do it or not and so i decided to leap out on faith and do something that i've always wanted to do which which was on my own business so again enough of that starting next week you're going to follow me for the first 30 to 60 days in my new career and on that note again mario this video this video was especially for you the next time you come over i said that before when you were over before but when they're together the kids just play and we never get a chance to do a video um so the next time i see you mario and you come over and hang out with us for the weekend video on its way i promise and another shout out shout Samaya. out Thank Tonight. you for showing me about Mochi. Hey, delicious. you go, girl. On that note, we will see you the next time. Total. Make sure to subscribe. Yes, subscribe. And be, a, and be a part of our notification squad. And all that stuff, what they say. Listen to him. Bye, you guys. Toodles.